Mr. McCain? Mr. McCain? Uh, Mr. McCain? Uh, Dr. Random McCann, Munted News. Mr. McCain, your, your moments from death at this time and everything you've ever believed in is currently effervescing at light speed before your very eyes like a frenzied five-dimensional animation of the birth and death of all terrestrial life. What do you have to say about the white man who just shot you? What? The shooter, Mr. McCain. The, the albino husk of incel penis meat who just gunned you down in broad daylight in Jacksonville. Do you think this might be an apposite moment to recant any policies you may have voiced in your lifetime regarding the Second Amendment, Mr. McCain? Terribly sorry, I, I can't quite ascertain to whom I'm speaking. All I can see right now is the front lobe of, of a malignant brain tumour perching itself menacingly around my optic nerve. Guns, Senator. Guns! A, 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 a viciously white man just killed you with one, according to our sources. Now, now would be a politically prudent time to apologise for your existence and repent. I'm fairly sure I wasn't shot. I don't know anything about an incident in Jacksonville. It sounds to me like you're hiding your laziness behind a convenient convergence of unconnected news stories. What would you, what would you know? You're an old man, and your moments from death. You're probably hallucinating from that head full of dimethyltryptamine you're apprehensively nursing there. And uh, that's a controlled substance, by the way. Would you care to get on your knees and beg for forgiveness from those whose freedom to explore such substances you have advocated against in your lifetime? Well, I don't want to sound rude or anything, but I did have my heart set on dying in peace, if that's all right. And it would be simply marvellous if you could at least try to bugger off. This is no time for peace, sir. Peace is a political concept. Therefore, you are attempting to politicise this tragedy. We, in the politically correct news arena, do not abide by any callous attempt to politicise a tragedy. Now hurry up and blame guns and pornography and video games and right-wing straight white men for your, for your death <laughs> and its regrettable untimeliness. You've only got a couple of minutes before you impatiently shuffle from this mortal coil. So you better... You better Sell your estate to the church. I mean, renounce the Second Amendment. That wasn't even in the script. No, no, no spare your voice. Spare your voice, you, you poor man. Spare your energy. You, your, 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 your palpable frailty speaks more than any real evidence can. We will take your furrowed whimperings as the noble confessions they are. Confessions? I'm perfectly lucid. I have not made any confessions. There you have it, folks. Senator John McCain, a 17-year-old black lesbian from Jacksonville, brutally gunned down in the street by 41-year-old whitey m white fuck you, 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 using a bump stock 3D printed AK-47. And as she lay here, her very organs spilling from her abdomen through, through festering grey membranes of hate, her last dying words... As, as recorded live here at Munted News, were, Shit, I'm dying. Vote Democrat. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Sir, or whoever you are, I don't wish to sound like a broken record in many more ways than one, but I happen to be dying. I am in no mood and no state for partisan politics. And now of all times, as I go to meet my maker, Witnessing all my crimes as I transcend, and facing judgment for all my crimes as I descend. Now of all times, I should not be expected to renounce, or recant, or apologize for anything. Not even Sarah Palin. Yes, all right.